Hi all, welcome back to my channel Mom Cafe. This video is going to be English. A lot of you have been requesting me to make videos in English all these years. I have always been hesitant and I, I have always been inside my comfort zone in speaking Tamil. But now I think it's the right time to reach other audience and uh, for all those people who love me but who doesn't know Tamil. Here we go. I'm going. I'll be sharing what I eat in a day since it's Sunday. I have uh, I tried soaking up some ragi, some urad dal, some methi seeds, and some poha the previous day, so that we can have something like a brunch. Uh, I was not in a mood to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A lot of things we learn a lot of things when we start losing weight. It could be fat loss, muscle loss, or muscle gain. Something I have noticed. It's like a mistake which I have been making all these months. Initially, I was losing fat and I was gaining uh, mu my muscles. But after a certain point in time, I started losing fat and I also started losing my muscles. That is when I started noticing that I have to eat more protein than what I was usually consuming. So the next day, I was thinking about making an one pot sambar, and I would also like to share this recipe with you. This is so easy, and this recipe doesn't need any tamarind, and you could just make it within 15 minutes. I have taken moong dal and tuwar dal for this recipe. I have taken equal ratio, and I have soaked it in hot water for 30 to 40 minutes. Take a wide pressure cooker. Add some water with the soaked dal. You could also add butternut squash or uh, any vegetables of your choice. You could add carrot. You could add peas, beans, anything. I'm adding a little bit of onions and uh, one whole tomatoes. If you are someone who likes your sambar to be a little bit tangy, you could either add some soaked tamarind water, or you can even ask. Um, uh, you can even add some extra tomatoes. Um, there is also something called kodam puli, uh, which is a Kerala style tamar tamarind. You can also use that. You don't need to soak that. You could just use a couple um, kodam puli on your. I will also be adding sambar powder along the uh, along the uh, tomatoes and onions. If you are someone who will also be adding red chilli powder to your sambar, then this is the time you can add that as well. Now let's close the lid and let it pressure cook for at least four to five whistles. In the meantime, since I was so hungry, I was trying to munch on some fruits. It's also a Sunday, so whatever I eat, I have to make sure I also give Prakit and Arya that. So for um, more like a pre-lunch snacks, we were having fruits. After four to five whistles, let the pressure suppress by the itself. And open it, and let's just mix it really well. And here I am going to do some tempering. Usually, whenever I make sambar or rasam, I always make sure to use gingerly oil along with a little bit of ghee in it. This is a very simple tadka. Once the gingerly oil is hot. I'm going to add some mustard seeds, a little bit of methi seeds, some curry leaves, some hing again, and along with that, I am also going to add some chopped small onions. Once the onions are sautéed, I'll turn off the stove and I'll add that tadka to my sambar, and our sambar is ready. In the meantime, I was uh, trying to grind the ragi dosa batter. This ragi dosa batter is so simple and it's less time consuming because we don't even need to ferment it. You could just use it right away, or if you would like to like it to be fermented, you could still do that. 
so either way this uh, ragi dosa is going to be tasty and crispy and none of the kids will uh, find a little bit different while eating it even arya loved it so much so it's more like a kids approved recipe Unlike a few months ago these days I make sure I eat protein and fiber for all 2 to 3 meals a day since I finish my dinner a little early I also make sure to consume half a scoop of extra protein powder in the evening After having a little bit of fruits now I'm consuming my protein You would have seen this protein powder in so many other vlogs of mine. This is a plant-based protein powder. This is my recent favorite and this is a peanut butter flavored. One scoop of plant-based peanut butter protein powder has around 30 grams of protein, so I make sure I consume this exactly 30 minutes after my workout. Now it's time to make some crispy ragi dosas. You can make it as thin as possible since it's not fermented we can't use it like a uh, our uh, so sponge dosa or we can't make it uh, with like an uthappam so make sure to spread it evenly and nice and thin so that you will get a crispy tasty ragi dosa you can also use ghee or uh, olive oil or even butter to make it extra tasty Here we go. Our yummy sambar with some Caesar salad and two ragi dosas for my brunch. I'll see you after my lunch. Here we go. The time is around 2 p.m. This is the time I consume my coffee. Any time after 2, I'll be awake all night. So I make sure I have my brunch at around 11 a.m. between 11 to uh, 11:30, and my coffee time would be at around 1:30 to 2, not beyond that. This is the time of the day where I always look forward to. So for dinner I was already full but I also want to make sure I consume a little bit of protein and fiber. So I thought of making some broccoli almond soup. Again that would be one pot hence I would like to share that recipe with you. In a cooker I have taken some butter. Any soup you make try adding a little bit of butter when you saute onions and garlic it's going to enhance the flavor of the soup very much I'll add some chopped garlic and onions I have taken more garlic than onions a handful of almonds Those are raw almonds unsoaked. I'm also adding some pepper. If you are someone like me who loves broccoli soup so much, then you should definitely try it with loads and loads of pepper. It gives a very nice flavor and texture to it and it's so tasty. I have cut the block broccoli florets and I have put it in the hot water for like around 10 to 15 minutes. Now I am adding those in the pressure cooker. Let's mix it well. Add some salt. I'll be adding some water along with some soy milk to make it look a little bit creamy and again the soy milk will provide me with some additional protein as well. Once uh, you have done adding water and milk, pressure cook it for up to two to three whistles. Turn off the stove, let it cool down, and blend it in a high-speed blender. And your wonderful creamy broccoli almond soup will be ready. 
try this recipe and let me know how it turned out in the comment section below hope you all enjoyed this video and this video i'll also be uploading it in tamil as well so stay tuned see you bye